What's good guys and welcome back to my channel. cooking with you guys i'm currently in my new apartment and by the time you guys see this video i will have a full house tour you know show you guys what i'm working with all that good stuff and hopefully you guys will enjoy this and the previous video but yeah let's get right into it today i'm going to be making pesto panne and cheese let's see how it turns out first step bring a large pot full of salt water to a boil this is the largest one i have so it'll have to do Go ahead and turn this on and get it boiling. All right guys, so while the water's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sauce. It also calls for another large pot, but I don't have another one. So I guess I'm gonna use a frying pan and see how that works. Frying pan. I think the only butter I have is salted, so it's gonna have to work. One tablespoon. I'm gonna just do three because I think the recipe is for like two or three servings, so I don't need as much butter anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get the other stuff out of the fridge that I need so I won't have to keep going back and forth even though it's right here. So next I need some flour. cup of flour okay made a little mess Well guys, as you can see, I put way too much water in there, and now I made a mess, so yay me. So I have the butter melting in the pan now, then once it's melted, I'm going to add a quarter cup of flour, and then add two cups of milk, and then stir that until it comes nice and smooth and then I will add the cheese. And the bad thing is I don't have a whisk, so I'm gonna have to use like a normal like kitchen spoon like this. But it definitely won't work, work as efficiently as a normal whisk would, but it's gonna have to do. And now for the two cups of milk. My milk is frozen. Yeah. So now that my milk is frozen, um, I don't have a clue what to do. The store is too far away and by then everything will be bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and drain the pasta and then let it sit. Run to the store, grab some more milk and run back home and try to finish this up real quick. Cause I'm almost done now that the water's done boiling and the, the noodles are done. So let's get right to it. The pan is literally dry. And I just poured water out and the pan is perfectly dry. That's crazy. But yeah, so I have the noodles here and I'm about to run to the store and I'll record running through the store real quick, grabbing some milk and we'll be back to finish the rest of the meal. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this milk away because if I'm buying more anyway, it'd be pointless. And... Wow. 
as I was walking out, I realized my LED lights were on and I haven't been to my car in two hours. So I literally left my LED lights on for two hours and I was so nervous that my battery was gonna be dead and I don't have anyone out here to help me um, jump it. So luckily it started and we're all good to go to the store. this whole meal all right guys so take two on adding milk to the rest of the paste i'm gonna go ahead and open my non-frozen non-expired milk like one cup i'm gonna go ahead and switch pans because this frying pan is not working for the cheese. I'm going to put two cups of mozzarella in with the combination. This is what the combination looks like now. Literally looks just like milk. Hopefully with the cheese it'll, you know, thicken it up and not look like straight milk because that doesn't look too appealing. Continue to stir the cheese until it melts and the sauce becomes nice and thick. So I feel like there's way too much sauce now and like it's gonna be like a soup pretty much. But I think it's pretty much done so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into a bowl and try it out. I'm gonna try and like leave most of the like sauce out of it cause I feel like I overdid it with the sauce even though I followed directions. But obviously I'm not that good at following directions even though you just gotta do what it says. Let's see what it tastes like. All right guys, time for the final test. This actually came out way better than I thought. It's got a really good flavor to it, maybe a little strong in the pesto. Overall, it's really good and I do think I made too much sauce, but the flavor is great. The noodles have a perfect, you know, texture to them. Not too hard, not too soft nice and chewy and yeah so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching me cook you know seeing what i make and and let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this and if so give me suggestions on something to cook and before all of that go ahead and subscribe comment like do what you gotta do you know show me some love and i'll keep bringing you guys great content you know i i know i was gone for about a year but i'm back you know Finally got some time to myself. I was very busy and, you know, just working on myself, you know, putting myself first, you know, trying to get myself right. And now that I got my own place, I got a lot more time on my hands. I don't really do much once I'm not working. I mean, I work like six days a week, but when I get home, I just get bored. So this is what I can do for you guys. I can cook, you know, do a little series or something. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you want me to do next. And I'll see you guys soon.